Hey guys, welcome back to the MSR Workshop. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about my OMTEC 80 watt CO2 laser and how you can improve your smoke extraction. So on today's video, I wanna talk about the 80 watt CO2 laser that I've got from OMTEC. So if you'll notice on the back of most of your machines, you'll have a single six inch port that's meant for hooking up for a dust uh, smoke extraction system. Well, if you've ever cleaned the bottom of your machine out inside, you'll notice that there is only a small, usually a four inch hole. Well, that four inch hole really kinda of chokes down the ability for your smoke extractor to remove it from your machine. Also, you'll notice that there is a grate usually over the top of that with a bunch of little holes. That's there usually, I believe, to prevent small stuff that's being cut out from getting sucked up to that and usually getting hit in your fan blades. Well, I will leave a link above in the video of one way that I've gone about solving that problem, but I'll also show you again today. So let's get this opened up and show you what I'm talking about and how we're gonna fix this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off these brackets which allows you to slide your honeycomb bed out. If you've never done this on your machine, I recommend doing it just because that's how you're going to clean it and it's always good to have a clean machine. Don't lose these brackets or these screws because you'll need that to put that little door back on. Next, you just make sure that your bed is level with the opening that you've created here. And then you can go ahead and slide your honeycomb bed out. And I'm gonna set this off to the side. So now looking down inside the machine, you'll see what I've got going here. This is actually a half of a air conditioner filter that I've put over the top of that hole. What this does is that it filters out all the soot and creosote from the air that is going through my collection system and it prevents the inside of my extraction tubing and especially the fan blades on my extractor from getting completely kegged in that stuff because I had a previous one before I upgraded to this one, this larger one that I'm currently using, and I noticed that it was really, really kind of gummed and got crud all over it. Well, this has done a great job of keeping the inside of all that tubing and fan blades clean. Now, the problem that you go run into if you let your fan blades get really dirty like that is it will eventually throw your fan blades off balance. Once they're off balance, it's only a matter of time before you can damage the motor and windings because of the vibration on it. So this is really helping keep that clean. But I've noticed that I do lose suction because that gets clogged. And also when I take this off, I'll show you the other problem. that hole right there is only a four inch hole. So we are gonna cut that hole out. Also getting rid of all of these little extra holes here, making this larger and really improving our smoke extraction on our machines. So how we're gonna achieve cutting that out is not with an angle grinder or anything, but with one of these guys. These are little sheet metal nibblers. The way they work is you hook this up to a power drill and then you have a little metal rod with a nib on it and it moves in and out 
and then you should just be able to go right around that and enlarge that. Now we will have to enlarge just one of those holes just to make it large enough to fit the head of this and then we should be able to just to quickly route around the edge in there to the size of the actual six inch opening that's in there making it six inches wide instead of the little four with all those holes in it there. So to drill this out we are going to use one of these stepped metal cutting bits they work fantastic, and so we're just going to make a hole large enough so that we can fit our nibbler inside. So I'm going to just start on the side of here. So now that that's removed, I put an edge just around it of tape because it did leave a little bit of a sharp edge. You can um, smooth that out. I chose not to just because there's going to be a filter over the top of it. But you can see how much bigger that is and it's to the wall of this inside ring, which is for that six inch tubing that's inside. And that should really open up that smoke extraction vent and now I can put this filter back and it should work way better. Now I know that was a little bit dirty and I could put a clean one in there but I'll go ahead and get some more life out of that one before I change it out. And what I like to do is I like to seal around them just to give it a nice seal. So it's not trying to go around the filter, it's trying to suck directly through the filter. put the knives back. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I know it was short, but it should have a big impact on how much smoke is actually in your machine and how much you smell it. If you notice that your extraction is getting a little bit low, Go ahead and check your filter because it does get clogged up. So I would probably recommend replacing it once a month, uh, just depending on how much cutting you're doing and how heavy of smoke you are making inside this thing. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, be sure and leave them below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and that little bell icon for all the videos that I drop. If you want to know more about any of the tools that I use today or more about these Ohmtech lasers, I will leave them in the description below. Thanks guys.